right, so welcome back to the startup vlog. And I think that last time we left off right where I was about to test out the app. So that is what we're starting out with this video as well. And uh, I have to say the app worked really well. There were some bugs in the app, like the percentages not updating properly and some of the other things that I added last minute before the workout that just didn't work. But overall, I was actually able to track my workout very well. And I'm really happy with where we're at with the app so far. And also the workout went really well. Alright, so welcome back to the startup vlog. This start of this video was a bit ominous because I just kind of had to go out because it was like really misty outside. So I felt like I should go out and film it. But yeah, this is a startup vlog where I build the startup, which is my workout tracking app. Last video, we dropped off or stopped right as I had an actual finished version of the app. Not finished version of the app, but like first testable version of the app that I could actually take to the gym. So that is what I did earlier today. And so once I was at the gym, I actually realized that there was a lot of bugs in the app uh, as per usual. Like I added this feature where percentages would update based on your one rep max or the calculated estimated one rep max if you haven't done a one rep max. And that just didn't work at all. So I have to go back and fix that. And then I basically spent the rest of the day just trying to fix that and not getting anywhere. I realized I hadn't really been outside, so that was also a reason for going outside and just taking a quick walk. Today, we're gonna to check out the app, see if we can actually get to a point where we have some of these bugs fixed and uh, where it's ready to actually for me to use properly in the gym. So that's what we're gonna do. But first, I'm also gonna finish this walk. So I thought I'd just do some quick progress update on where we're at with the app right now. This is what it looks like when you start it up. And I've done a couple of things since last time you saw the app. Basically what I've done is I've done added this thing where when you open up the app for the first time, it asks you to start a new workout or start an existing one. So these are ones that I've saved as templates. So you can either just start a new one, which will get us to this place. And up here we have a totals card, which basically sets, says what the totals are for the entire workout. So what we can do here is very similar to what we've already been able to do, uh, but we can either type in a new exercise in here, or we can add an exercise that we've done before. I've actually used the app now for a couple workouts, so uh, we can take something that I've used before. Let's say that we actually take uh, barbell shoulder press and we add that then we see what we did last time so last time I did 10 reps and one set at 20 kilos uh, I hadn't done a one rep max at that point but what I've also created is a way so that even if you don't do a one rep max for that weight it will basically calculate and figure out what is your one rep max based on the lowest amount of reps that you've done at the highest weight uh, it's a bit complicated but there's basically a table that says that 
at 50% of your max, you should be able to do X amount of reps. So that means that if you've not done a one rep max, but you've done 10 reps at uh, 50 kilos, let's say, for whatever exercise, then you can calculate and figure out that your one rep max is probably this. So that's basically what I've done. What you can do now is, let's say that we type in 20, then we'll see that this is 35% of our estimated one rep max for this exercise. What we can also do is if we want to work at a specific percentage of our one rep max, then let's say that we want to work at 80%, then we can type in 80 and percent. And what this will do is it will update to the weight that should be 80% of our one rep max. Uh, as you see here, it basically says 100% on the side here, which is a bug. I'm not sure why that happens, but there are lots of these minor bugs in the app that I'm trying to figure out. Also this thing, like that was completely blank just before because uh, it doesn't update the way that I want it to. But now if we type in 12 reps and one set, then we'll get up here a total for what we've done here. So one set, 12 reps, blah, blah, blah. And how many exercises we've done. We also get the same thing here. So we get 56 kilos average per rep, one set, 12 reps. This is something that you've seen me do lots of times before. And then you can keep going and you see what you've done uh, in the last workout. The other thing that I've created is a save function. So when you press save, you now get to name the workout. And this is basically, if you want to save it as a template, you can name it something and then you can set that you want to save it as a template and that way you'll be able to actually repeat the workout. So let's not save this one. I have to delete it because I haven't done anything with uh, basically going back or anything like that. Now we're back and what we can do is we can try to redo a workout that we've done before. So if I press this uh, back workout, then it will take some time, but it will load and we'll get what we did for the last workout. Basically all this will load and uh, that way you'll very easily be able to repeat a workout without having to retype all the reps, all the sets, all the weights, in case you want to do the exact same workout again. Plus, you'll also be able to very easily implement progressive overload, which is something that if you don't know what progressive overload is, please Google that because that's just like the main thing for uh, increasing both strength and just muscle mass in the gym. If you understand progressive overload, then you'll be able to get bigger and stronger in the gym. That's the main thing. And since I think that we're programmers here, so you're probably used to Googling things that you don't understand and figuring out what they mean. So progressive overload, hot tip, just Google that. This is where we're at with the app right now. We can repeat workouts, we can save workouts as, te as templates, and we can uh, get the percentages of the exercises. Uh, there are some bugs that I need to fix, but right now what I want to do is I want to actually get started on the next thing for this app, which is to show some sort of progress progression for your maxes and also for the volume for the workout. So I want to be able to see how much have I done for this workout and I want to be able to see sort of bar charts of like this week you did this many reps or last week you did that many reps and like a progression, uh, if that makes sense. But first I have to design that and uh, come up with a way to make that look really good. So that's what we're going to start with. So this is also me just avoiding working on the login screen because I don't really know how difficult that's going to be and my last experience with creating a login screen left me pretty confused. So now my mind just keeps thinking that it's a lot bigger of a task or an obstacle than it actually is. So I just keep postponing starting it, which I really shouldn't. I really should just set that up though so that I can start looking for beta testers which would be super exciting and so that we can make sure that you can sign in securely. Also if you're like me and you're running a business and want some tips for keeping it secure online go check out today's video sponsor Cybersecurity on a Budget by Kaspersky which is a free platform that provides easy to follow security tips for your day to day work or business and cybersecurity is super important and it's something that I've neglected a lot in the past but ever since making the video about how to become invisible online I've started implementing a lot more cybersecurity measures like storing backup copies of important files creating long and complicated passwords and enabling two-factor authentication because that means that even if someone cracks my password, they still won't be able to access all my stuff. At least not that easily. 
If you have any stories regarding cybersecurity, just please share it in the comments. It's always good to share these experiences because it can help someone else steer clear of running into the same issue. So make sure to check the comments for tips and you can also go to Cybersecurity on a Budget's website to get some free and effective cybersecurity tips in just a five minute read. Use the link in the video description or the QR code right here to learn how to prevent such risks and protect you or your business from the latest breed of cyber threats. Alright, so here's <clears throat> what I've come up with so far. Uh, the MVP should have a couple different pages. It should have a calendar page, an analytics page, and a workout page, or a track workout page. Right now we have pretty much everything done for the track workout page. Uh, these are just features that I need to add still, so there should be a lot more features on there, but I've already done a couple of them, so, or most of them, I mean. Uh, what I'm working on now is the analytics page, and this is what I've designed here in uh, Adobe XD. I mean, I don't know what this is going to actually turn out like. Uh, not sure what this is, if I'm going to keep something similar to this, but like maybe the total volume for the week, or the month or whatever something like that what I am sure about is I want these little cards one for just a one rep max increase for a specific exercise this uh, in the final app in the next version of the app not the MVP I think I'm gonna change this so that you can actually select which exercise you want to have showing here on this page and then I want to have the volume here showing as well I think that's gonna be it uh, for now and then you're gonna press this and you'll get to a page where you see a bigger version of it with more specific like details for the exercise. I feel like I'm not making too much sense but I'm just gonna start building this out and we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, it's not too difficult to build this because uh, most of it's pretty simple but yeah we're gonna start uh, building this out now and uh, we'll see how it goes i'm probably gonna move to the couch though because i think that's a little bit more comfortable <laughs>
right, so uh, I've gone to bed and that's because it's the end of my day right now and uh, Basically, I didn't get much done on actually building that UI that I built. What I did get done was a lot of like the back end stuff, like working on getting all the stuff working so that we can actually display the information for the analytics page. Uh, so I basically just got stuck working on that. There was a lot to do there, so I'm still not quite finished, but I need to get that done before I can actually get started building the UI out because I need to build that out. The problem was basically that Right now, I'm not saving the totals for each workout or the analytics stuff that I need to save for the workouts. I'm just calculating it based on the workouts, which means that I need to make a request to the database asking for all the workouts and all of the exercises. And then I need to use all of the exercises, all of the workouts to calculate the volumes and different things, which it's probably more efficient if I just save a value for the for each workout that has the total reps because that means that I don't need to get all the workouts plus all the exercises. I just need to get all the workouts. So it's going to be a little bit faster. There might be some better way of doing that. I don't know yet, but that's how I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to call it a day here and just continue reading. I'm reading the Permission Marketing by Seth Godin, which is just a book about marketing. That's what I'm doing right now. I've been reading this for the past couple of weeks. I thought I might end videos like this from now on, like showing you what I'm reading. I think it's kind of a nice ending as well with this like cozy lighting and kind of tying the video together. So um, next week, I hope to get the UI done for the analytics page and then probably gonna start working on the login screen as well because I haven't pushed postponing that because I feel like I don't know how to do that again. So. It makes me kind of procrastinate on it, but I'm going to try to get that done next week. So see you next week. Good night.